Hey everybody, Lev Farmer 73 here. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. I just got off of work early, which usually never happens. But I came out here every blue moon. I get a chance to come outside and see what's going on. And y'all, I got a bunch of peaches. I got a lot of peaches. This is my Saturn. I'm just gonna do it like this. My Saturn peach tree that I bought from uh, Stark Brothers Nursery. This is gonna be the first year that I am literally gonna have to thin the peaches on this. Because you can't see, I'm, I'm gonna get a better angle on this. But you can't see, but it is a billion trillion. Let me get a better look for you. It's peaches. Let me see. Can I can y'all see that? It's peaches everywhere. That's one little branch. I mean everywhere. You see this? Everywhere. Everywhere. That's beautiful. Whew. So look here. All I did this year, I threw down that uh the eggshells and the coffee grounds. Only thing I, I just keep it coming. I keep it going. I never stop. And I haven't watered. I, I broke my sprinkler system. Well, it uh it broke itself, I guess. I didn't drain it. I forgot to drain the damn thing. I don't know nothing about sprinklers. So I forgot to drain it, it cracked. So now I just been letting nature do its thing until I can get it fixed. And now I'm loaded with peaches. Look at that. Is that not beautiful? Now, here's one that my wife got me. I don't know how long this uh, YouTube recording thing works, but uh, we're going we gonna to figure something out. If it cut off, you guys, just I'll start it back over. But look, this is the uh, oh, 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 Red Haven peach. Oh, that's going to be nice. And it's loaded. This is the second year it's been in the ground. I've been trimming it. And for all the people every year around this time, y'all hear me all stopped up. You know, the allergies, I I got them bad. So, anyway, I, uh, I done start shaping it. And it's in a bowl shape, just like my Saturn peach over here. And it's, oh my God, it's coming along real nice. I had to take a couple more lops off in the, in the center right here. I took that one off. That that was a should or shouldn't I? And I said, just forget it. Usually when you when you prune your tree, if you gotta think about it, just lop it off. Like I'm gonna do this one here, my plum tree. Now this one, this bloomed way too early this year. Still got a few little plums on it. Let me see. Okay, if you can see them right there, here's a little plum here. It's a couple, it's a handful of, it's, oh, it's quite a few, quite a few plums on here. This is the uh, methyl plum, but uh, let me get a better, can't you see that? And it just, it just, uh, it had tons of plums on it. It just bloomed way too early. So that's okay, because right behind that, I got the Santa Rosa plum and it's loaded. It, it bloomed a little later. So I think we passed the frost now. And this thing is loaded with plums. So we're going to see how that work out. Over here I got more plums. Walk with me. I got more. This is what I call my beaver bite plum. This is the yellow shiro plum. And as you can see, it is loaded. Frost didn't get him. Frost didn't get the old beaver. And I mean that sucker is loaded. I got a lot of stuff going on. I got stuff going on like I got a uh, a Fuji apple tree. I haven't started my, my gardening yet, which is coming. It's coming. One thing at a time, right? But check it out. My Fuji apple, this is the very first year that it ever fruited. I've had this thing for like, oh my God, for years. And I was really getting impatient because this one is supposed to be for my zone and everything. 
this year it it just check it out it blooms all over the fuji and i've been shaping him and doing prepping him and doing everything i need to do to keep him going and keep him ready he finally bloomed for me i got fuji apple trees right here full of blooms this is now this one this one right here this is a ball kicker right here this one now that's misled farmer's tree right there that's the pink lady that is loaded with blooms that's loaded so i got my fuji yellow delicious pink lady all blooming at the same time i've grafted some pieces on and what i was going to do is uh show you guys how to graft i did some early grafts and i hope they make it because the frost hit them a few times so i'm hoping they make it but if not i'm gonna show you guys again now i want to take you to the front of my house because i got a couple things going on here i've seen these bloom one time in fruit one time and that is my stella oh come on around here stella cherry it's self-fruitful i got it's starting to bloom one done popped out I got this, I'm spreading that out too. Boy, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to do that, but I, I know I had to it in the long run. It's gonna be a mess if I don't. But uh my lapins, this is my lapins cherry tree, and it is going bananas. Look at all, look at all the blooms on that one. Man, I might have some cherries this year. If the birds don't get them first. This thing is loaded. I was thinking about, uh, maybe I should just get rid of these chit. No, I'm going to hang on to them. I got all kind of stuff blooming this year. I'm, I'm, I'm so proud. I got my persimmons. I got a lot of people asking about my persimmons too. If, let me tell you something. I'm going to do several videos again on my persimmons because that's a special tree to me. A lot of people know that too. That's why they ask so many questions about them. Um, now i gotta get a give a shout out um i don't see her on the youtube that much no more but i gotta give her her props uh miss nuhuru miss lady green fingers two years ago almost two years ago in about 30 days it'd be two years ago she sent me a present for my birthday and it was the red sensation pear tree it's it's like a bartlett type pair from uh, Stark Brothers Nursery and I was going I wanted it so bad I kept saying it in all my videos that's my next tree that's my next tree and she sent it to me she sent me that and a moon glow pair and this I'm gonna say the second season this little rascal is doing this it's loaded with b blooms now I gotta be honest this thing it had four pairs on it last year and the squirrels took them now this is what I gotta show you because you won't believe me you gotta go back in a couple videos and check it out but that tree loaded with blooms that she sent me not even two seasons ago used to look like this a little bit it was actually shorter than this a little bitty stick see that I stuck that sucker in the ground it's already leafing out see that this was a bare root tree. Don't let nobody scare you away from bare root trees. Because I got to be honest with you. I've always had good luck. Well, from Stark Brothers Nursery. Let's put it like that. I've always had good luck with them. Now, this is the hood pear tree. This one. He's been in this ground. Four years, I think. Three or four years. He better do something fast. Or his ass gotta go. This year, I'm telling you, like, just like I did last season. Not Look, I'm already getting old. See my gray hair? I'm not about to sit around and wait for some of these trees to... 
I don't want to be eating this stuff while I'm some crumbled up old dude, you know. I need this fruit now and for the rest of my life. Only thing I'm waiting on and don't mind waiting on is my pecan trees. Other than that, screw that. So you guys, that was just one brief look onto my island. Check out a few things that's going on. I wanna show you so much more. You know what, I am gonna show you. I'm sorry about the bouncing. I'm running here. Oh, and all my persimmon trees, the ones that I, that I bought last fall that was going out of, uh, on clearance, they bloomed out and they're about, they got little fruit buds on them. I'm gonna show you all of that. Now, this is one I got this past fall. You won't even believe where I got this thing. It was on clearance. Winter had hit. I got this from Lowe's. It came with pears on it. This is a Bartlett. And it's it's almost doubled in size. The trunk done doubled in size. It must like where it is. Cause God, now you see all of these blooms. I've pruned it. I got, I took a lot of pieces for grafting off of it. I mean, I took, I cut off about 50% of this tree and it still bloomed like crazy. And you know what? It pollinated. I know it don't need a pollinator. Bartlett pear don't need a pollinator, but you would think, well then again, somebody did say, oh, you do, you kind of cheating. <laughs> you got a beehive sitting next to all of your stuff. Cheat a little, that's a little cheat cheat. You know, I give you that. I give you that. I forget who said it, and if you remember, if you watch this video, remind me your name, who said it. I give you a shout out, because you, you kind of right. You know, my girls over here, they get the job done on the island, right? I can't take all the credit. The trees can't take all the credit. Matter of fact, they can't do nothing without them. So, as you can see, they are pollinated, and they are, here goes, here's a bunch right here. That's good and pollinated. Let me see. See them? These little red balls right here. Those are pears, baby. There's tons of pears. Here go some more. There you go. Pears, baby. It's going to be a good year. It's going to be a good year. And I'm going to introduce y'all to a whole nother type of situation I got brewing in my head. I'm not going to say it right now, but I am going to let you know at the right time because it is timing on this one, okay? It's a lot of timing on what I got coming. <sighs> Let's put it to you like this. We all gardeners. We all exchange, you know, secrets and methods. But after gardening, it's time to, it's time to hang up your shovel and Take off your little muddy boots. Then it's time to talk about some grown up stuff. Well, that's what I'm about to do for you. Okay? So be looking out for Lead Farmers Top Shelf Gardening. Okay? This don't really have stuff to do with gardening. You can say stuff about gardening, but we're going to talk about a few more different things. All right? So, anyway, I've been on this thing too long. I want to show you so much. God, I'm just looking around my island, and there's so much stuff I want to show you back here just going on. The video is already 13 minutes long, 14 minutes long. Let me get off of this, because I'm going to do this again, because I got so much stuff to show you. I'm trying, y'all. Just hang tight. Look out for another one. I love you. All right? Live Farmer 73, and I'm out.